No good. I can't open it. Horace? Right. Leave this kind of thing to me. What's wrong? <gasps> the hell is that? Is it a coffin? A skeleton? It, it's the vampire Neborus. How could this be? This is a vampire? You're joking. It's true, but it was supposed to have been killed centuries ago. What are you talking about? I told you, I'm an archaeologist. I've seen this thing in textbooks. Nebulus is immortal, but there should be a way to destroy him. Get on with it. What do we do? It slipped my mind. We're not making a dent. Zael, retreat for now. We can't hurt it. It's just as unfair. Huh. Maybe we should offer it Horace and see if it will give his wife back then. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Just wait, please. Vampires must have a weakness, Horace. Come on. Ah, I've got it. It's silver. Back on him. Let us know he's vulnerable. We'll surround him and let him have it. Vulnerable again. Master Zael, it's better to run away when it's this dangerous. It's run. Now's our chance. This thing hurt Meredith. There's no mistake. This freak's behind everything. Vampires eat humans to sustain their life force, right? And the ladies introduce a chance. Job to save a damsel in distress.
running. Now's our chance. Immortality looks like this. He's dead. We can go home. Woo! <laughs> oh, he's a little scamp, isn't he? What about Meredith? Eating mansion? Ha! <laughs> Nothing to it. Oh, so you weren't flapping about, screaming like a little girl. Me there. scream? No idea what you're talking about. You've uh, pissed your pants there. What? In sweat. At last, our night in the haunted mansion is over. I don't really know who or what that boy in the mansion was, but I think. He's resting in peace now. This mansion was surrounded by weird rumors. But now, it's like there's a calm about the place. I don't think anything strange will happen here anymore. Master Zale, thank you so much for all your help. We really can't thank you enough for what you did. Please, there's no need for all that. I'm just glad everything's all right. I'll say. I tell you, every night since then... Uh, Horace, dear, I think that's quite enough, don't you? Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> Good to see you're doing well. By the way, Master Zale, feel free to visit my shop whenever you like. Oh, yes, we'll make sure we give you the lowest prices we can afford. We'll be waiting. Why did we have to go somewhere so creepy? I'm gonna have trouble sleeping. Oh, Zale. How long have you been standing there? <laughs> 